everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I've just got home from work, it is Friday and I have got the afternoon off which is very nice because it means I can spend the afternoon with you guys. I've just had a Freddy's flower delivery as you've just seen me do, it's a really beautiful one this week actually, I'm very very happy, I mean I'm always happy with them but I'm extra happy this week, it is a really really beautiful bunch. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting up in my dressing room, I've got a couple of things that I wanted to to show you actually. Um, I ordered a stackers jewellery box um, which I wanted to unbox and show you guys. What else do I want to do? Oh I ordered some batteries from Amazon which have um, arrived today as well just to put in um, some new batteries in these uh, little lights here for my shelving unit because they well they've died um, so I need to pop some new batteries in that so I need to do that today I thought along with my jewellery box I will go through and um, sort out all my jewellery and just have a little bit of an organisation today as well I will probably vlog with you over the weekend too what else oh I think actually my gusto order is due to arrive well, any moment actually, so that should be arriving soon. So I will um, unbox that and check what what we have, if I'm missing any ingredients this week or not, we shall see. But um, so yeah, nice chilled out day at home or afternoon at home. I've got Betty laying on the rug next to me. I'll show you in a minute. She's just the cutest little doggy. She's also a nutter, but she's the cutest little doggy. So yeah anyway right i think that let's get unboxing either the gusto if that's downstairs because i think i might have heard a knock at the door earlier um which might be the gusto stuff um or if not let's get unboxing the jewelry bits and pieces so yeah i love fridays <laughs> just look at this nutter <laughs> She just looks so like weirdly uncomfortable in that position, doesn't she? But she just loves this rug. She just, yeah, loves lying on it. It's nice and cosy and fluffy for you, isn't it, Bebu? Okay, we have the Gusto order. Now what we've got this week is crispy lemon bassa with chilli rice. I believe bassa is fish. I've never had it before, but it looks tasty. We have also got sticky ginger beef with sesame noodles. That looks nice. I think these all don't take too long either. The bassa takes, oh, that takes 35 minutes, so that takes quite a while or a bit longer. But yes, the sticky ginger beef with sesame noodles only takes 10 minutes, ideal for us. We've got chicken satay with pickled chili cucumber. Oh, that's a bit of Jamie, that is. He loves satay chicken. That is 10 minutes, so not too long. And then mushroom biryani with cucumber rata, I think that's pronounced. And again, 10 minutes for this one as well. So they all look really nice and tasty. I'll see what Jamie wants when he gets in from work, but I reckon he's going to pick the satay as his choice for this evening. So let's just go through and check that we have got all the ingredients. Who knows, who knows. Right, so let's start with the crispy lemon and bassa then. Guys, you won't believe it. It was all here. Everything was here. How exciting is that? Brilliant, brilliant. I've also just had a delivery from Aurelia London, my new favorite, favorite cosmetics company it comes in this beautiful bag there as well and it's just basically a new cleanser because i had run out and i've actually gone for the bigger size of the cleanser well it actually comes in three sizes and this is the medium size i had the small size to start with just to check that i liked it and i did i loved it so i've now gone for the medium size which is in this little jar here how beautiful is this jar by the way it's just perfect it's the miracle cleanser I love it. I really, really love it. Honestly, guys, my skin, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but my skin is looking so fresh and so good at the moment. And I'm pretty sure it is down to using the Aurelia products. I am in love with them. They are so good. Oh, there's a freebie in here as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a little eye serum. Perfect. I'm going to keep hold of that, actually, and I'm going to use that when we go on holiday. Just 
dropped it on the floor. But uh, yes, I'm going to use that when we go on holiday because I think that will be ideal. So yeah, lovely. Those are those bits done. So let's go upstairs and have a little look at the jewellery box. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Stackers jewellery box. I think it's going to be really nice. And uh, yeah, what else have we got to do? Oh, the batteries. I need to do that and sort out all my jewellery. Right, I am, I'm not having a good hair day today, guys. So I'm sorry about that. I'm just, it's just not looking its best. I need to, basically my extensions have, have had it. I need some new hair, so to speak, but I'm getting some in a couple of weeks. So you're just gonna have to put up with it looking a little bit straggly at the moment, unfortunately. So let's get into my Stackers jewelry box. Now I actually saw this, I mean I was aware of Stackers as a brand but I'd never bought anything from them but I actually saw it in John Lewis um, last weekend and was looking at them and then I went on the, because I nearly bought one in there, but then I went onto the Stackers website and saw they had lots of other colours that they didn't, they didn't have in John Lewis so I ordered it online instead and it was marginally cheaper online as well so um, if you're looking to get a Stackers jewellery box I would... Um, probably make your purchase oh can't get it out directly from the stackers website rather than on john lewis sorry um, but uh, yeah so i ordered two parts to the jewelry box now what's amazing about stackers which i will show you in a moment is that well it's in the name really you can stack up segments of the jewelry box and just like kind of grow it and add to it as your collection gets bigger or as and when you want to. I think they make a really perfect gift actually because you can start someone off just with the basic one which is what I'm going to show you now um, and then you know for their birthdays or for Christmas you can add on or they can add on to it as well and I just think it's a really nice gift idea. So the colour that I went for was their beautiful classic blush colour. I love this so much. I was actually looking, they have a really, really lovely sage green colour as well and I was so, so torn. But I want to sit this up on my um, chest of drawers just over here and I thought the blush colour would just go better with the decor in the room. Otherwise I would have gone for the sage because the sage is gorgeous and they have really nice lavender colour as well. So do check out all the different colours. But what I liked about the blush is that, um, let me just take this sticker off so you can see it a bit better, is that you could get it with a rose gold um, bit here stuck to my fingers you could get it with the rose gold there but um you also had the option to do champagne gold and i don't really have an awful lot of rose gold stuff but champagne gold and gold is my favorite so i went for that option as well which they didn't have that option in john lewis either you, they only had the rose gold one so you open it up and then inside you have got your kind of basic jewellery box here. So I'm just gonna take that bit out and just take that off as well. So you've got really um, plush kind of lining, this velvet lining, it's gorgeous. You've got stackers written there and then you have got your basic kind of area. So your necklaces or bracelets in the top there, um, rings or earrings around here and just some little basic bits and pieces as well. And I just thought it was really beautiful. And to be honest, I, I currently, um, I don't have a jewellery box, and I'm currently putting my jewellery in the boxes that it came in and kind of using that, and it's just taking up far too much space. So I needed a different option, and I just thought this would look beautiful on my um, top of my chest of drawers. Now I also went for, because I've got quite a few lovely necklaces that I really want to look after, I went for the um, layer of necklaces, basically. So there we go, so it's just got, again, that really kind of nice plush lining there and it's just got lines across where you can put your necklaces in. You could put bracelets in there as well if you want to, either or, but uh, yes, and I think that's gorgeous. And it's actually reasonable, reasonably priced. I think this was 18 pounds and I think this was maybe 22 pounds or something, but they literally stack up and fit together, one on top of each other, she says, hold on. There we go. 
one on top of each other like so and they just look like a gorgeous little jewelry box and then you can add on there's a really nice section actually that has bigger segments in it that's um for sunglasses and belts and things which are quite light and obviously it's a bit deeper so i might add that on at some point as well but i just think that's really really lovely really pretty and i think that will just sit really nicely on my dressing table so that is my little stackers unboxing i'm so pleased with it actually i it's beautiful i think that's going to look amazing and then from amazon i have just got a ridiculous amount of AAA batteries i think there's 48 AAA batteries there for me to it's going to take me bloody ages isn't it but for me to put into my little lights um in my shelving unit each one takes three batteries and there is what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 13 14 15 16 lights to do so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i'm gonna get that done actually right now so that i don't not do it and then that's done and then i can enjoy putting my new bits in my or putting my bits in my new jewelry box so let's do that let's yeah let's get the lights on i won't show you because it's really boring it would be a very boring time lapse so i'm not going to show you i'm just going to crack on and get it done Ta da All the lights are now on and working beautifully. I'm sorry if it's flickering, I can't tell from the recording or not, but when I edit it, it may well be flickery. The camera doesn't particularly like these sort of lights, but um, yeah, all done and all looking good. And there's my little jewellery box there on the unit as well, looking very, very beautiful. I love that. I love that you can see the reflection of all of the bags and stuff in the ref in the um, reflection of the mirrors as well. It just looks lovely. It just looks like a little shop. So beautiful. Right, okay, so let's just crack on and have a little look at getting the jewellery box sorted out. I've just switched off the little lights and popped on my main one because I know it does play around with the camera but um, so I've got out all my jewellery pieces here that I want to put into the box so I've got some boxes here that were just in the top drawer and it's just going to free up a lot more space in there for me and then I've got some loose bits that were in the little cubby holes here as well so some earrings some necklaces these earrings I don't think I've ever worn before so I, yeah I will probably put those in as well my little Dior earrings so yeah I think let's just have a little fiddle and put them all away okay so this is the jewelry boxes as they stand um, in this little box here um, is the first necklace that Jamie ever bought me and a bangle a diamond bangle that I wore on my wedding day which is also from Jamie so I'm gonna keep those in their box because they're just so special so they're gonna go in back in the drawer in the box but in the jewelry box here I have got necklaces going all the way down here I might actually get another layer of this because I quite like the necklaces being separate um, and it just keeps them looking beautiful and in this one I've got a spare necklace one here which my pearl necklace that I'm wearing will go in today and then I've got my other sorry pearl necklace there some earrings um, little bracelet there I don't own many bracelets um, my one ring that I own other than my wedding ring I feel like I need to sort that out um, and just some ear cuffs and then some more earrings there as well so just nicely popped in there and there it is sitting on top of the drawers looking really really gorgeous and what I love about it is actually there is room for that to grow and to expand as my collection does as well so looking very very lovely there yep very very happy with that purchase Good morning everyone. It is a couple of days later. It is now Sunday morning and I'm just getting ready for the day. We had a wonderful breakfast this morning. Jamie made us scrambled egg on toast which was lovely. I think I showed you a clip of it actually. It was very very tasty so I'm just now getting ready. So we're heading out today to Westine um, Gardens which is 
near Goodwood, so not too, too far away from we are. We're going to hop in the car and grab Betty Boo and take her with us as we can um, take dogs there, which will be lovely. So we're going to have a little wander around the gardens and hopefully they've got, well, they have got a little cafe there. Hopefully it will be open and we can grab a little bit of lunch. I really fancy some nice warm soup and a roll or something along those lines because it is rather chilly and rather grey outside it looks really bright behind me on camera but it's not trust me it's very very grey so uh, yes a nice warming soup will be absolutely lovely so I am quite looking forward to today actually it's going to be nice to get out into some fresh air and just have a nice day out with um, the three of us really which will be very very nice so yes I thought that I would bring you guys along with us for the day we um cooked a really nice gusto meal last night actually it was a uh, lemon bassa um sticky lemon bassa um with rice and it was lovely and broccoli as well very very nice i'll pop a picture up on screen because it actually looked quite well presented i mean jamie and i aren't particularly good at presenting things but actually i feel like we did a really good job and it was so so tasty so it's definitely going to be a recipe that we are going to keep a hold of and do again because it was yeah delicious and tonight i think i can't remember what we've got tonight actually we've got a mushroom biryani to do but i think we might be doing that tomorrow but uh, yes we've got another one tonight it's just a nice quick one it's, i think it's about a 10 minute one which will be quite nice and handy um yesterday's one was about 35 i'm just gonna fold my uh, roll neck down one because i'm boiling and two because i'm gonna get makeup all over it um yes last night's one was about 35 minute one i think it took us but um it goes so quickly when you're actually doing it i have to say you know you sit there before or we were sitting there before on the sofa thinking oh, i can't be bothered but um when you just crack on and start getting on with it it actually goes really quickly so yeah anyway i'm not putting on a full face of makeup today i'm just going to do a little bit of concealer really and that's about it i think i might pop just put a little bit of bronzer on but i'm not going to do any eye makeup or anything like that because it is just a cozy Sunday and um, I can't bother basically. So we're gonna wrap up nice and warm because it is still January, unfortunately, and it's, which means it's still cold. I looked up online today and it is 140, uh, yes, 149, is it 142? Hold on, I put it on my Instagram. I think it might be 142. Let's have a little look. No, it's 149. 149 days until summer. So, uh, not that I am, you know, wishing my life away or anything, but I am just um, over this cold weather now. I just would quite like it to be at least spring. You know, I am such a summer bunny at heart. I love, you know, sandals, flip-flops feeling warm basically i'm not i'm not a jumper person i'm not a boots person particularly i mean i don't mind them but i i much prefer nice pretty dresses summer sandals and just you know that feeling of being toasty warm rather than freezing my bum off every five minutes so only 149 days to go guys it's not long it's not long it's forever <laughs> hey ho so yeah i'm gonna carry on getting ready i'm gonna pop my woolly hat on and my gloves to make sure that i am super toasty for the day and i will catch up with you when we get to the gardens it'll be nice i'm really looking forward to it actually it'll be a nice little day out for our whole family Okay, cosy outfit of the day. I've got my bubble hat on. This is just an Amazon jobby. My roll neck is H&M. My coat is also H&M. My roll neck was bought this winter. The coat is very old. Um, and then I've got my bulgari bag, some leggings on, and then I'm just going to pop my trainers on as well. I was going to wear my wellies, but I really oh, i fell over last week on the ice really like properly fell over as in like flat on my face and um, and i literally grazed up all the front of my shin and it's so bruised and so sore that i can't actually put a welly on it's ridiculous so um i'm just gonna pop my trainers on and hope it's not too too muddy as we go through but um yeah 
cozy outfit of the day. We've just arrived to the gardens and what a beautiful, beautiful way to spend a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Oh, Betty's marking her territory. <laughs> Betty's going for a week. Oh, on the vlog, Bet Boo, on the vlog. So, yeah, it's so beautiful actually. Even though it's winter and there's no leaves on the trees and no flowers out, it's still actually really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And it's just nice oh, to be out in the air. <laughs> They're ducks, okay? <laughs> oh, how beautiful is this? Imagine in the summer. Oh, with the sun shining and the heat. I wonder if you can get married around here. It's so beautiful, isn't it? What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm not doing it again. He's so rude, guys, isn't he? So we're just walking over to the pergola here that you can walk across. I imagine in the summer it's covered in flowers and it's just the most beautiful thing ever. So it doesn't look quite as beautiful in the winter time but uh we'll have to come back in the summer and do a comparison i reckon she said summer about 10 times so far <laughs> look i'm really want it to be summer already okay there's nothing wrong with that oh look at the little pond in the middle oh that's very sweet maybe we could get married here babe what do you think or renew our vows no <laughs> right so this is the college. I didn't realise that there's actually a um, school or college here. I mean, could you imagine sitting in your classroom and looking up to that? I think you need to be cleverer than us to go there. <laughs> yeah. Here at least. Oh, Betty, you are one of them treats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it when he plays with her. It's so cute. Betty. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, Betty's always been really good at fetching. Betty, look. Betty, look. Fetch. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she just doesn't quite understand the concept. <laughs> Hello everyone, we have just got back from our walk. It was so, so lovely, but so, so cold. We've just come in and whacked the heating up, so to get it nice and toasty in here, and we're gonna have a little snuggle on the sofa, I think, under a blanket, and just try and get nice and warm again. We had a really, really nice um, lunch as well. Um, paninis each and things, which were really quite nice. Definitely not on our diet plan. But I also, I just wanted to check how many steps I've done. So I've got my phone and let's have a little look on the tracker. Probably nowhere near as many as what I feel like we have done. 8,310 steps. It's not bad. It's far more than my average, I'm telling you that. Although I never have my phone on me when I'm sort of teaching my classes because I obviously do a lot of walking around classes and stuff and one-to-ones and things, but I never have my phone on me. So it's not really a true representation of my normal day. But um, anywho, we're going to have a nice little snuggle. I've not taken my hat off yet. I'm a little bit scared too because I'm so cold. And there's Babu. She's had a super long walk, haven't you, darling girl? It's a very long walk you've had. Yeah, I know, it's a big yawn. She's gonna be zonked out this afternoon, most definitely, bless her, so. Anyway, right, let's get the hat off and let's get snuggling. Hello guys, pyjamas are on and we're just about to start dinner. It is obviously a few hours later. We have just spent the afternoon basically chilling out on the sofa and watching episode after episode of Criminal Minds. So we are nearly finished. We will have done, oh gosh, what series are we on now? 12, I think, and there are 15, so we're nearly done. Um, but as I said to Jamie, we need to watch something else now because I'm a bit criminal minded out for the evening. Um, so yes, we're just about to start dinner. We are gonna do, where have we put it? The chicken satay tonight with pickled cucumber so that looks very delicious and it's only 10 minutes so we're going to get cracking on that and enjoy that um also guys i'm thinking 
about getting my brows laminated. Have any of you done that? If you have, let me know in the comment section and let me know what you think about it because I just, I quite like the look of it. So um, I've been umming and ahhing about it for quite a while now. I actually thought about getting it done before we went to Ibiza, but, um, but I didn't in the end. Gosh, I should have steamed these pyjamas before I put them on, but never mind. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you think if you've had it done and um, yeah. Right, let's get cooking and more importantly eating all right so we have got chicken breast here we have got rice vinegar soy sauce chili jam jamie's empty in the bin in the background if you can hear that uh peanut butter creamed coconut half a cucumber brown rice and we are ready to go this smells amazing doesn't it not bad for 560 calories. No, not bad at all. Whoops, steamy. Okay, and there we have it. Dinner is served. Right, I'm going to finish the vlog here, guys, and enjoy our dinner this evening. So I will catch you all in the next one. If you've enjoyed the video, as always, do give it a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.